it is now possible to accept this challenge of designing our future if we have the courage to examine newer directions for solving our problems of energy, hunger, pollution, and war. It is entirely possible to develop non-polluting renewable energy systems to operate the entire country and still maintain our natural surroundings. This could be accomplished by harnessing the sun, the tides, the wind, the Gulf Stream and other sources. Another possible development is the building of a land bridge or dam across the Bering Strait, which would bridge Asia and Europe with the U.S. This could generate enough power to eliminate much of the suffering and scarcity of the third world countries. Eventually, with the advent of clean fusion power, we could easily propel our world's technology for the next thousand years. In the Venus Project, priority will be given to the development of these clean energy sources. There are many other possibilities for developing photovoltaic systems that generate electricity while at the same time harness the currently unused radiant heat energy from the sun. Roadways, rooftops, and many other surfaces could be designed to collect and store the heat from radiant energy, which could be used for heating or cooling. At present, our planet is our only sustainable environment, and we must protect it for ourselves and generations to come. The technology and resources are available today to translate the aims of the Venus Project into a working reality. We are tied in with nature and all of the environment surrounding us. To negate or neglect any part of that would be damaging to ourselves and our own lives.